Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, and I'm going to be playing some Yoshi's Crafted World. The game just came out today, I thought it would be fun to record, you know, my first thoughts on it. I haven't started it yet, I did play the demo, which I believe is the first level of the full game, so I'll probably already know what to expect near the beginning, but besides that, this is going to be all new, we'll see how we go. Um, maybe I should have started the game before starting recording. Eh, it's not a big deal. Uh, there'll be a little bit of a loading time here, but that's that's not a problem. Should be fine. I'm actually using the Joy-Cons here. I tend to prefer the Joy-Cons for a lot of stuff. Um, I'm only using a Pro-Con in the Odyssey run for crouch purposes, because it's easier to get a rubber band onto the button. Um, of course, I make certain motion controls much harder, like doing a down throw, so... Problems there. Anyway. We're loading up. So, um, just like Yoshi's Woolly World, which I played before on my 3DS, you've got Mellow Mode here and Classic Mode. If you've played Yoshi's Island, I would recommend Classic Mode, because Mellow Mode basically is the same game, except Yoshi has infinite flight and infinite eggs, and it makes it everything much, much easier. Whereas Classic Mode, it plays pretty much like Yoshi's Island, although not quite, you know, as, as difficult as that game, which was brutal, as you may recall. Uh, so yeah, classic mode, unless, you know, something is really annoying, you can use melee mode. It's like an assist mode, but it's sort of the default in this game for some reason. Um, yeah, I'm gonna classic mode. And yeah, you can just change it whenever, so no big deal. Uh, this is the title screen, I guess. I haven't actually seen this before. There it is. Uh, I'm gonna go start game. I assume this is the story. This wasn't in the demo. This went straight into the first level. So, okay, so this looks a lot like Yoshi's story. Yeah, I can see it. <laughs> the Yoshi on the top there is sort of flirting with it. <laughs> Cute. Okay, so this stone does some, I'm guessing like Kamek's gonna steal it or something. And we're gonna get back each of the little gems. Yep, there's Kamek. Uh oh, spaghetti! Oh, this is just advancing automatically. I'm not actually pressing any buttons, which is a little annoying. I think it should have you press A to go to the next bit of dialogue or something. Okay, so they're stealing the Sun Dream Stone, obviously. <laughs> oh no, it's it's freaking out. I'm guessing the little gems are going to break off and go in different places. Like each of the worlds, maybe. Yeah, there we go. So we're going to need to go through each world to recover each of the little gems, yeah. That makes perfect sense. <laughs> They found themselves in an unfamiliar forest. Oh, that's so sad. The dream gems, they're all gone. So those are called the dream gems? You didn't mention that earlier. The sad sun dream stone. We better go save those jammies. Yeah, look. Yeah, Yoshi can do it. <laughs> so, yeah, this storyline, it feels a lot like Yoshi's story to me. In terms of the way it's being presented. Uh, uh, just one for now, I'm playing by myself. Oh, I can pick any of them. Oh, that's cute. Um, let's let's go with pink. All set. Yup. Oh, that's really cute. It's settled then. The rest of the Yoshis will stay and protect the Sun Dream Stone. It'll be safe and sound. Journey to find the gems begins. 
Uh oh, spaghetti -o. That's not good. <laughs> oh my. Okay, so yeah, this is the same first level from the demo that I already played. Can I actually go back this way? Huh. Okay, so you can go back into the forest. I don't know why you would. Maybe you can just get to look at the cutscene again or something? Oh, that's how, you, that's how you switch your issues, okay. Can I go to the costumes? No. I wonder if I can use Amiibo at this point. Okay, so you go back there if you want to change costumes. Uh, or you can head this direction. You can zoom back out to jump between the worlds faster, I'm guessing. There's also the menu here. I want to see if my Amiibo do anything. Oh my gosh, they do things! <laughs> That's really cheesy. Okay, so I now have a costume, I'm guessing. I wonder if there's other ways to unlock those. Probably? Oh my gosh. That's so dorky. Alright, let's head to the first level. Okay, so the way it works is, you get flowers for doing each of the challenges. So you've got flowers for getting all of the um, red coins, a flower for getting all the hearts and finishing with full health, uh, a flower for getting enough regular coins, and the flowers that you just grab out in the world. So it's fairly similar to the flower, like Yoshi's Island in that there's a bunch of different missions you have to do to get the perfect score, but like Yoshi's Woolly World, you don't have to do them all in one run. So it's a lot easier than Yoshi's Island to get a perfect score. Oh my god, this costume. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, I need to change the controls. By default, it maps the buttons like this, so that B is um, tongue and A is jump. I don't like that. I prefer it like this. Uh, there, there we go. So that way you've got... B for jump, Y for E, and A for toss egg, which is, I think that's what it was in the SNES version. I played the GBA version of Yoshi's Island, so I had different controls anyway, but this is still more comfortable for me. So, yeah, you've got very similar moves to what you have in Yoshi's Island. You have the little flutter jump, you have your ground pound, you can bounce off enemies like that, uh... And you can throw eggs. The egg throwing controls are a bit different in this game because eggs are thrown in three dimensions. Also, when you eat an enemy, you instantly turn them into an egg instead of just holding them in your mouth, which is a bit weird. Now, this first level is hilariously easy, as you might expect. You can get a feel for how the game looks and plays, and also this hilarious outfit. I assume there's a whole bunch of outfits like this. Um, that wasn't available in the demo, you couldn't get any outfits, so. There goes a train. Info. Yeah, after gobbling in with Y, she makes an egg. So, these pipes here, there are lots of these in the original Yoshi's Island. They just keep spitting out Shy Guys, so you can just make all the eggs you need. Uh, fairly common feature of that game. And they're in this game too, so that's cool. Uh, so as you can see, like, it targets objects, which, because you only have two-dimensional controls for moving the target around, it needs to, like, lock onto objects in the foreground or background in order to hit everything. Which is a little fiddly, but not a big problem. Uh, also, you can't hit that plant now because I already made the stairs. I might have missed something by doing that, I don't remember. Uh, aesthetically, the game is super, super cute, as you can see. Uh, oops. I accidentally threw into the background there. So, yeah, you want to make sure you look onto the right object when you throw an egg. 
Um, it was less of a problem in Yoshi's Island because it was two-dimensional, but it's not a big problem. And yeah, this, this is a bit gimmicky, but it's cute. These egg blocks you might recognize from Yoshi's Island. I think the different colors of eggs have no effect in this game, though. Whereas in that one, they had, like, a significant different behavior. Ah, uh, you just gotta whack that to get that down. This thing, I think, is a checkpoint. Um, you can't avoid the checkpoint, as far as I know, which is a bit annoying compared to the midway rings in the original game. Um... Oh yeah, then you see Kamek here. Kamek's just gonna mess us up by breaking that train over there. So all we gotta do is just repair the train, and we'll be fine. Basically, it's just an excuse to explore this part rather than just keep advancing, which I think is kind of nice. Uh, there's a couple more things we can grab over here besides the train pieces, so we'll be gathering some interesting bits and stuff. Uh, you can see these paths here, forwards and backwards. It's, it's it's a bit like Yoshi's Story uh, with the split paths, but it's I guess it's um I don't know. I think it works nicely. I don't know if this is, happens a lot in the game or if this is just like something that the early levels do, but I like it. Also, these are red coins, and you can't see until you hit them, just like in the original Yoshi's Island. Uh, I believe once you've already found one, it will show up as red when you revisit the area, though. Since stuff stays recollected in this game, unlike in the original. Stays collected, doesn't... not recollected. There we go. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, that's how you get up there, which is good because there's a train piece up there, so you absolutely need to do that. As you can see, the train piece just follows you like an egg, it's kind of cute. Here you can get a bunch of money. If you want some money, this is a place to get it. I believe you, you, you get a flower for getting a certain amount of regular money. So there is a reason to do that, because I don't think this game has lives. Yeah, I don't think it has lives. Which is probably a good thing, because lives are a relic of the arcade game era, really. Uh, so that's a train piece that we want, so we'll just get it like that. There's another flower over here, which we also want, so I'm just going to do that. This gives you a path you can follow to get to this side again. Uh, to get the last one, the last um, flower that you can just pick up in the world, you need to make sure you have some eggs when you board the train, so just a tip. <laughs> uh, here we go, it's the other, that's the last train piece, we only did three of them. And we now have all three of them, so we're good. Uh, let's bop this a couple times. Let me see. Okay, I have full health. I only have 11 of 20 red coins, and we're nearing the end of the level, so... Oh, hang on, there's some more here. These are, these are red coins. Uh, maybe that guy has one? No, just some regular coins. And yeah, you can't really hit something if if your if your um egg doesn't lock onto it, you won't hit it. So you gotta watch out for that. Uh, there might be something near the piranha plant. I don't want to try not to miss anything. Those are just regular coins. Uh, I think that's everything we can get at this stage. You don't really have a running mode like you do in Yoshi's Island. You just move at this speed all the time. Uh, basically, you just throw the train pieces as though they're eggs. It's kind of cute. There we go. And that fixes the train and we can get going. So, the last, like, flower out in the world is on this train ride. So, you have to make sure you have an egg to be able to get it. Fortunately, I have a bunch of eggs, so we'll be fine. Do, 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 do. 
the music isn't quite as great as the music from Yoshi's Island 1 1, but it's still pretty good. Uh, yep, there's the last flower. It's in the background. It's a little hard to tell. But yeah, you just hit it with an egg and there you go. And you hop off the train. Once it stops, you can head down this way. This is the level end. I don't think there's a way to get extra points out of it. Although these lights are flashing, maybe there's something you can do with them. I'm not sure. Hooray! Uh, yeah, we got all five of those. We got that one. We got that one. I don't think we got all the red coins. 14. So yeah, you don't get that flower. And you just have a tally of the number of flowers over the entire game up there in the corner. So... It's a bit like moons, where you just collect a whole bunch of them all over the place. Or well, there aren't quite as many in each area as there are in some other games I could mention. <laughs> uh, let's head back in here and have another quick look around. Oh, maybe not. Hang on, let's just look at these other... Okay, there's supposed to be a character there. I guess they come up later. Um, what do we got here? Okay, so this is how you unlock the costumes. It looks loot boxy, but at least it's fake money, so it's not a huge deal. Uh, I'm not a gigantic fan of this. Uh, I don't know if the coins can be used for anything else, so I might just do one. Uh, we got something red. Is that into a good costume? I don't know. Okay, I've got a rare costume. I guess that's good. I guess there's a cow now if I want. Hmm. Okay, I'm not a huge fan of that design decision. Uh, let's just advance to the next level. I haven't gone any further than this yet. If only I had a smiley flower. Okay, so I have to give away one of my flowers. Alright. So, you don't keep them, you actually give them to people and your total goes down. Interesting. Oh hey, it's you! It's that guy! I know you. Uh, this guy in the demo was standing near the first level and he gave me a little side quest. He'll probably still do that in this version. The octopus docks. Finn the flower fan. Finn blocker fellow. You're feeling formal? How do you do? Yoshi. Yeah, Yoshi. That's exactly it. Yeah. Uh, okay, so... It's quite a bit of narrative, like, just out here in the overworld. I mean, yeah, we saw that in the cutscene, so it's kind of obvious. Best of luck. Thanks, Finn. Many fish in the sea. These level names are interesting. <laughs> so yeah, there should be another one of those guys over here who gives me a side quest for this level, but I don't think it's unlocked yet. I'm guessing we have to play more of the game to unlock some stuff earlier. Okay, so this level I've never seen before, so this is brand new content for me, unlike that first level, which was in the demo. Uh, spin a spin a spin a spin. Cute. Okay, so this is sort of a water level. It's actually underwater though. Oh, Coopers. Hello, Coopers. Uh, okay, so you don't swallow Coopers, you just hold them in your mouth and spit them out, just like in Yoshi's Island. So, uh, that makes me happy. Um, uh, is there a platform down here? Yeah. I see you there. <laughs> oh my gosh, you get out of the way so you can hit it. That's cute. Huh, none of those were red. Interesting. Oh, oh, that's a cute detail. Look at this. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> oh wow. This is a very cute game. That cannot be denied. What's this say? Oh yes, yeah, the first place in the game you actually need a ground pound. Because there's these pillars here. You got a pound into the ground.
Okay. Uh, I see that flower there. Don't, don't even think I don't. Okay, so it's not really an underwater level. It's an underwater themed regular level, which is really a strange decision. Uh, unless maybe it goes underwater for real later? I don't know. It's weird. What is that? Okay, it's just a big fishy balloon thing. I guess it's paper mache or something. Oops. Okay, yeah, I should have done that in the other order. Okay, I'm gonna get on top of this so we can just ride it over to the other side. I get the feeling we want to pound down both of these because there's probably something hidden back here. Yeah. Let's also knock that down just in case. Uh, nope, nothing behind there. Okay, this this is a strange choice of level design. It's just, it looks like it's going to be an underwater level, but it's not. Also, these doors are cute. <laughs> the aesthetic is really, really adorable. Um, I guess this is just like a little shell elevator minigame thing. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Uh, pounding that doesn't do anything. I thought it might reveal something. There we go. There's a bunch of coins down here, and some of them are even red. How are we doing star-wise? I only got one. Uh, let's see if we can dodge the checkpoint. Okay, no, jumping over it still makes you get it, so that's a bit annoying. Kind of wish you could skip checkpoints like you can in the original game. What does that do? Hmm. We'll get to that in a second. Oh, okay. A bunch of time-limited blue coins. Okay, and then, oh, I see. That's how you get the second flower. Okay. Alright, so... That's sort of like the little red coin rings in the new Super Mario Bros. games. Similar sort of function. Possibly the, the um, green coin ring thingies in um, 3D World. Okay, I'm guessing those spiky plants will in fact hurt me, despite probably being made of cardboard. Oh look, it's this thing! Oh wow, these are in Yoshi's Island. Um, they spit out eggs if you don't have full eggs, basically. So they're another way to fill up eggs, but they don't give you more than you need. Uh, how do I get there? Can I like, squeeze through here? Okay, I think I can, but I might need to like, crouch. Oh, okay, you can sort of just crawl like that. Oh, um, look, it's a fish made of coins. How cute. I'm guessing some of these will be red. Yeah. Okay. This level is weird. <laughs> like, why make your second level an underwater stage that's actually just above land that just looks like it's underwater? It's just a really weird choice of design. <laughs> Oh gosh, it's fun, but it's just, it's really strange. I'm guessing, yeah. There's another one of these down here, so you can get a bunch more extra coins, some will be red. Yep. Here you can get some more hearts. I don't think getting hearts does anything if your hearts were already full. I think the same thing happened in Yoshi's Island, but there weren't nearly as many stars in the game to collect, so... Oh, hello, that's getting away from me. Uh, I might have missed that. I didn't realize it was moving. Oh no, hang on, it's moving back and forth. Okay, okay, all good. There we go. Okie doke. <laughs> um, none of those were red. Hmm, is there anything down there, or is that like a dead death pit? That's a death pit. Um, I survived because of my costume, I think. But yeah, don't go down that hole. Because it's not it's not a hidden treasure or anything, it's just it's, it's where you die. Oh wow, look, it's one of these things. Except all the blocks are made of paper. Oh, that's really cute. 
Three flowers. Uh, here's another checkpoint. Okay, so checkpoints also heal your costume up to full health, as well as healing you up to full health. So I guess that makes sense. Uh, I think you can actually fall to the bottom here. So yeah, wearing a costume is actually very useful because it gives you a bunch of extra health points. I don't know if that's like the most logical thing, but I guess it's okay. You know, this part, yeah, that's pretty easy really. Like, you're not gonna get hit. Uh, okay, let's see, we got a shy guy down here. We gotta hit that, just a couple of, couple of these. Uh, but there's clearly something up there. I feel like I need to come around from the other side to get to it. Oh, it's a different time challenge. Okay. Okay, I'm guessing I just have to throw... Hang on. Okay, you just throw one egg at that, and it gives you some coins, I guess. Cute, I think? I'm not really sure what I'm looking at. Okay, and that just loops around to the... Uh, I guess you could jump off there if you wanted, but I don't think... Maybe there's a reason to. Let's have a look. Mm, doesn't look like it. So that was just a waste of time, but, you know, it doesn't really matter. Um, I think I'll probably stop the video after this level. It's reaching about 30 minutes, and that's probably about the length I want to make my vids. Unless they suddenly become extra long for no reason, which they often do, as you've noticed. Uh, if I just spit that out there, and just dodge it when it comes back, it should... Yeah, pop all those shy guys. Get me the last flower over there. I'm making really good progress on this level. Gosh. Uh, I'm still missing one purple. Where it could be? Not purple. Um, that other color, red. <laughs> I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna fall. It's not a big deal because when you fall, you respawn and just take a costume hit. Uh, so if that's how the whole game works, it is much, much easier than Yoshi's Island. But I'm guessing various parts of it are more difficult. Also, I'm guessing if I weren't wearing a costume, it would be harder too. Uh, okay, so there's still some purples we're missing here. Uh, down there maybe? Okay, there's nothing down there. It looks like there might be something, but it doesn't seem to be. Um, the lights on here are changing, so it feels like going through at a certain time will get you extra prizes, but I don't know what time that is. Hmm. I think it might be when the red lights are on. This game is strange. I mean, it's a lot of fun and it looks really great. Um. I think it might be a little too easy. Um, this is only the second level though, it will get harder. Uh, I still missed one red coin that time. Okay, so Smiley Flower is actually a currency to unlock levels rather than just a, like, meet a certain number sort of thing. That's really interesting. I wonder if we'll keep giving away our Smiley Flowers as we go. Maybe. Hello. There's pirates. How scary. Hmm. Oh, I see. The amiibo costume gives you five hits, whereas this, this rare costume only gives you four hits. So I'm kind of cheating a little bit. I'm just going to take that off and play without it. Um, I might do one more level. Mm. Yeah, I'll do one more level. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Okay, so we've got the goals in this game. 
just like the ones in uh, Yoshi's Island. They had the same design, only they're made of cardboard. Yep, that did what I thought it would do. Nice. <laughs> Okay, here are the pirates that he was talking about. Can I go in this pipe? No. A lot of the pipes that enemies come out of in um, Yoshi's Island you can go into, but apparently the same is not true in this game. At least not for that one. Maybe some of the others work that way. Uh, that time the challenge was very, very easy. Um, I wonder what kind of challenge runs I can do for this game just to make things a bit harder. Oh hey, it's that guy! Only he's made of jelly, I think. And he's much less of a threat than he was in the original games. <laughs> uh, okay, so that's the checkpoint, which means that this pipe wants to be like a side path. Which means I should go this way. Yeah, there's a bunch of purple... <laughs> I keep calling them purple, they're red. Red coins over here. And there's a present, which I probably want. Yeah, there's a bunch more coins in there. Uh, I was thinking some of these gulls will do something too. There seems to be a lot of stuff you can hit with eggs, just by there not being that many eggs available. It's interesting. Uh, there's another blog, and there's a thing behind him, so I probably want to get some more eggs if I can find somewhere that has them. Uh, let's see, there was a pipe back here. Am I meant to backtrack all this way? I guess so. I don't know about this. Um, hang on, can I like hit that? It's like a door or something. Uh, I don't think I can hit it. Open it up and go to Pirate World. Four, five. I believe the total is still six, just like in the originals. I made some weird decisions in this game. <laughs> Hello, Blog. I'm just gonna float over your head. I hope that's cool with you. So, without the um, costume on to provide a blade of hit points, I will actually be losing hearts, so I might not get the heart flower on the first playthrough. Let's see how we go. Uh, that's three flowers. Oh, there's one of these right here. I could have just gone here and then backtracked. Uh, my fault for not trying to go forward a little bit first, I guess. How are we doing? 12 out of 20? I'm guessing that, like, gelatin down there will kill you, like, instantly when you get hit by it. Or, like, it'll do damage straight away, anyway. Like, it's like poison or something. I'm guessing. Changing from the way the level was designed. There's another blog. Is there a reason to hit him? Is there something down there? I can't say anything. Mm, I don't think there's anything down there. What the heck is that? Whoa! Good lord, that's... that's... A, that is... That is a thing. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, that was really cool, actually. Just flip the world around for a little challenge. <laughs> I did know that there's a way you flip the levels around in this game. There's like a, there's a mode, I think it's just called flip mode, where you play the levels backwards and the camera's flipped around. But I didn't think there'd be little challenges like that doing the same thing, and I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, let's see, we got a blog here. I feel like I want to hit some of these birds. Mm, I'm getting much out of it though. Another blog over here. I sure going to take a hit there. Jeez. Uh, how are we doing? Uh, we have. Nearly all the red coins. I think we're doing fine. Here's a checkpoint. 
I think if you already have full health, the checkpoint gives you coins, which is nice. Bit of an extra bonus for getting there with full health sort of thing. Uh, why don't you hit these just because there's an egg dispenser here? Oh, hello, there's actually also flower down there. Uh, so I need to hit this blog and then do that. There we go. And I got me the last couple of red coins as well. Nice. I like this level. It's got a little bit of a challenge to it, but because it's so early in the game, it's still pretty easy. But you can see that the game will start having some difficult bits, I think. I still haven't taken a hit at all. So it's not a hard game by any means, but you can see it's starting to build up a little bit. I'm guessing this is like a boss battle I'm being shot into? Yes. Uh, well, I'm going to go get the gem. Oh, alright. Is this actually like stop motion animation they used for that scene then? It looks stop motion-y, which would be really cool. Okay, I can't hit him at all at the moment. I think I probably have to wait for that. Okay. Okay, I haven't been at eggs to work with, so this probably is not going to be hard, like, at all. Bomp bomp. Yeah, you just gotta whack him when he shows up. So yeah, this boss is clearly meant to show off the new, like, 3D-ish mechanics that this game has, compared to the previous. Since it, the boss is in the background, I'm throwing eggs back there. Having some trouble with this last hit. I'm not taking any damage, so it's not actually hard, but there we go. Uh, -da 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 -da. Okay, I think I've got everything in power up here. I did. Yes! Yeah, give me all that good stuff. <laughs> uh, loading, loading, loading. Okay, I, I really enjoyed that. That was, that was... You, you're starting to see how the game can get more complex and kind of hard-ish. And I think it will build up from that, because this is still the first world. Uh. Okay, yeah, these are the side side quests I was mentioning. These guys tell you to look for certain items in the levels you already ran went through, which gives you an excuse to play through again and look for certain things you weren't looking for before. Uh, which I like. I like having a reason to go back to this level and do more stuff later. I won't do it now, I think I'm going to stop this video for now, but I'm enjoying this so far. There are a couple of things I find questionable, like these... Um, loot box machines here, I, I don't like those. It's only fake money, so it's not a huge deal, but I still, I'm still not a fan that it seems to be a very prominent part of this game when it's loot boxes. Uh, whereas, the way the levels are designed is fun. I like I, I like the layered layering mechanic. I like throwing eggs forwards and backwards. I like the way things are hidden. I like that there's a whole bunch of different objectives to do in each level, so there's some reason to go back and do stuff again. Um, I like the costumes. I feel like they're a little bit cheating to use because of the way they give you extra health. Um, but I, I like them in theory. <laughs> um, and I like... I like... Hey, what's this scrapbook thing? Have I opened that yet? I should have a look at that. Okay, uh, oh, I see. Okay, as you collect these souvenirs, you can you can have a look at them in here. Okay, that's cool. And costumes, ones I've unlocked. And then movies. I preferred the way it worked in Woolly World, where to get a new design, which is the equivalent of costumes, I guess, you basically had to collect five little yarn ball thingies in each level. So it was kind of like the flowers, but it was just another objective to do that gave you the costume directly rather than using a loot box which I think is bad. Not a fan of that at all. Um, I like that this game has co-op. That seems to work really well. 
Um, and I wasn't playing it here, but I did play that for the demo, and I liked it a lot. Uh, I like the two playstyles thing, the whole melee versus classic, that's really good. I like that there's somewhat configurable controls, because the defaults upset me, and changing it to the way I like it was very easy to do, so I'm good with that. Uh, you can actually tweak between patient and hasty, just like in, um... The original Yoshi's Island, which is nice. I think patient makes more sense here because the egg throwing is a bit stranger. Um, what else? What else? Uh, I like. I really like the, the whole aesthetic with all the little like little um crafty materials and stuff. You got little drinking straws and cardboard everywhere. Hey, that guy's showing up now. Um. I like a lot about this game. There are a few things that I find questionable. Uh, okay, that menu's handy. He's got a little star there. Keep track of where you're up to. Oh, I see. You can look up the crafts you've found. Alright. So, you can get the idea. I think there's some problems with this game, especially the whole loot box mechanic over here, which clearly does give you a benefit in the game by using it, because these costumes work as ablative hit points. But, apart from that, I'm really liking the look of this, this new Yoshi title, and I think it will get a lot harder and feel a lot like Yoshi's Island in later levels. It does control a lot like Yoshi's Island already. I'm not sure if you can tell that just by watching me, but it, it feels a lot like playing Yoshi's Island, despite looking a little different. The art style is lovely, so it's okay that it looks a little different. Um, the story, I think, maybe a little much? Um, there's not nearly this much dialogue in the original Yoshi's Island, and that game is magnificent. Um, it probably will let up on that a bit as we get into later worlds, but it's alright. Uh, overall, I like this game. I don't like the loot boxes in this game. That's my opinion. <laughs> um, thanks for watching. If you watched me play Yoshi's Crafted World a little bit, just to see what it's like. I'm glad you enjoyed watching me play a video game. If you enjoyed me watching, play, watching me play a video game. Uh, hopefully you did. Uh, I might just peek over here and see. Okay, so you have to spend another flower to get through here. Oh, five flowers. Okay. So you actually have to get a bunch of flowers to continue to the next, like, sub-world. That's really interesting. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Anyway, I like this game. I have slight misgivings about parts of this game, such as this part of this game. I like the levels. I like the game overall. I am hoping it gets much, much harder and super frustrating in the late levels because that's how Yoshi's Island was, and that game is just beautiful. Um, I would overall recommend it, based on what I've seen so far. I think it's a lot of fun, and I love Yoshi. <laughs> Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, um, let me know if you disagree with my assessment, or if you agree with my assessment, or if you have opinions on the video, or whatever, you can leave comments, that's one of the things that websites let you do. Um, but yeah, <laughs> um, that's the video, I'm just gonna stop it now, rather than keep rambling on for another couple of minutes because I've been rambling quite a lot. Bye, friends! <laughs> oh, gosh.